Hello and welcome to another Adobe Training Tip of the Month from your friends at Head Tricks Training. This month I'm in the new Adobe Muse. For those of you that don't know, Muse is a very, very simple way to create a website. Let's watch how simple. So I'm going to go in and say, create my first site. Ready to start? Well, I'm not really ready because I don't really have the content or the design, which is really where I'd start. But I can show you how to quickly put a website together. Here I'll press new site. I'll say OK to the, the layout here. It's 960 by 500 width. And now I have my first page, my home page. They already start me with the home page. I'm going to click on this plus button. I'm going to add four more pages. There we go. Maybe I'll have an about page. And maybe I'll have a products page and a contact page. And if I want, I can even get rid of this page. And there's my four pages. I could double click into the master page, which is going to help me design all the four pages that I just created. So I'll click on the master page. And let's just make believe I had a logo. Instead of importing and placing an object, I will quickly just make a square, fill it with red. Maybe I will take that square and round its corners. So there's really no oval tool. We're just taking the div and rounding the corners here in Muse. All right, let me round these corners a little bit more. There's my circle. All right, and that'll be my Make Believe logo. I'll put some text on top of it. And that's my logo. And now you'll see if I close this page, I now have my logo on every single one of my pages. Beautiful. Well, not really, but it's the idea of the quickness. We can drag a shape behind here if I wanted to, the entire width of the page, or I could have it scale by bringing this to the edge of the browser. I would change the color. And I'll drop it to the back. And there we go. I have my page. Again, I'll close the master. Look at my website. Boom. Everything's updated. All right. Last but not least, I'm going to go to the master page. And I'm going to go ahead and add some navigation, a navigation bar. I'm going to go to the widgets library. I'll choose menus. They have horizontal and vertical. I'm going to choose the horizontal menu. I'll drag that to the stage. And you notice how it knows to grab me four buttons and it already names them based on the pages that I have. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go to my Align panel now. I'll close the widgets. I'm going to go to my Align panel here and I will align this to the content area and center it on the stage so it's exactly center. And now I can change the buttons. So my normal state, maybe I will have that um, be a yellow. And then the text, I can change the text on that state to maybe a dark blue. And then the roll over state, maybe I could set that to white text and set the fill to a blue. And now we will change the active state. That's when they select this page, it shows them where they're at. So maybe I'll make this kind of bright, nice orange. And that'll be good for now. We should have our three states. Let's just double check. Yep, you can see our normal state, our rollover, our active state. Okay, now I have the navigation all set up. I will close the master page. You'll see now the navigation shows up on every single page. And you'll see that it knows the contact page is highlighted here. The products page is highlighted in the products page. And then the home page is also highlighted. So why don't I just do one more thing so we can tell where we're at. And I'm just going to add some text that shows we are on the home page. So if this is a real website, I'd probably want to create a graphic, insert an image, do something that looks a little bit more professional. But just to get the idea across, that'll be good. Again, I'll align that to the center. 
I'll copy that. And I'll just add that to the about page. I'll do an edit paste in place. So it puts it in the exact spot. This is about. And I'll center that. Close this page. Go to the products page. Again, I'll edit, paste in place. I'll type in the word products. Center it to the stage. And the last one, the contact page. Edit, paste in place. Contact. Now I want to go File, Preview Site in Browser. And there's my website. We're on the home page now. I'll click About, We're on the About page, the Products page, the Contact page. So not only did my navigation know exactly what pages I had and the names of those pages, but it even linked the pages for me. I hope you enjoyed this tip of the month from Head Tricks Training.